It's player profile time, Jim. Yes! Um, James is very excited. Sorry, Keep can you see that from here? Yeah. James gets excited with the fucking bin men turning up. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, he knows you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Good. Very good, mate. Um, we mentioned... <laughs> <a lot. laughs> we mentioned uh, an Argentinian before. Uh, Diego Maradona. It's not him, though. It's uh, a fellow Argentinian, and he goes by the name of Gabriel Omar Batista. Oh, oh awesome. Bat a goal, bat a goal. <laughs> Born of February the 1st, 1969. The summer of love. It's only 39 now, he can still do a job. <laughs> <laughs> Bolton, maybe? He could do a job at Serie A. AC Milan. Do you reckon yeah. we'll get him in for a couple of months? Yeah, I'd like to see that. Maybe when Beckham finishes in March, he can carry on for the rest of the season. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. His first uh, side he played for uh, was Newell's Old Boys. Um, a friend of mine, incidentally, when I was in Argentina, he got a pair of Newell's Old Boys shorts because he just liked to how it was NOB. <laughs> oh nice! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, that wasn't your friend, was it? It was my friend. <laughs> that was it? Yeah. yeah, absolutely, it was. Um, he had 24 appearances, seven goals. Yeah. Uh, he then he then went to um, River Plate, and uh, that was obviously a big move there. Huge club in Argentina. Yeah. Huge club in South America. Yeah. yeah. Um, but huge club in the world, you might say. Yeah. They are a big club. They're a massive club. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Uh, 21 appearances, four goals. Yeah, he played 21 really? times for them. Yeah, that's right. He was only there for a season. Uh, he kind of moved he moved around a little bit. He then, from River, went to Boca. Right, okay. Which Ooh. is a big move. Big move. Celtics, yeah. Tottenham to Arsenal, yeah. Madrid to Barcelona, and so on. So Reading to Crystal Palace. Yeah. <laughs> it would be Brian to Crystal Palace. Well, um, not really. You know, Farber to Walshot, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> Should we go on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. St. Um, Peter's Port to Truro. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um... He had 30 appearances for Boca and 13 goals. Okay. So he's, um, he's, he's getting there. But in 91 um, was, was a big year for him. That's when he played uh, for Argentina in the Copa America. And he finished the tournament with uh, six goals, uh, top scorer. So yeah. And Argentina, they won that. And um, it was the vice president of Fiorentina at the time. He was very impressed with him and he signed him. So that's when he went to Fiorentina. Is that when I had the classic purple seven up here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's it. a shame because he could have done well there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame it didn't work out for him at Fiorentina. <laughs> <laughs> the Fiorentina kit's quality, isn't it? Yeah. It's a real yeah. uh, distinguishable. Yeah. He, the following season, actually, uh, Fiorentina were relegated to Serie B. Um, he scored 13 goals that season, but they returned to Serie A two years later. He scored 16. They were managed by Claudio Ranieri, mm. nonetheless. Uh, 93 uh, What's her nickname? Is it the Viola? That's right Yeah, 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 yeah. Good knowledge um, In 93 Second Copper America he, They won that uh, 94 Don't just brush over it <laughs> Oh yeah, they won that yeah. <laughs> Mate, that's well, a big trophy a Come a pain, on a it's, a, it's a big trophy yeah, yeah. They won that twice that's in a row That's quality Yeah, yeah. Um, 94 Slightly disappointing um, World Cup But he scored He scored four goals In that world Cup. Yeah I can I should briefly I can vaguely remember him In the World Cup actually. Mm. But 94 to 95 Was uh, it was a good season for him Because um, He scored 26 goals He was top scorer And he broke um, Ezio uh, Pascuti's 30 year old record By scoring An all first 11 matches of the season Oh wow. class Bloody How hell. good is that Yeah, yeah that's, that's amazing good. That's good And in 95 96 uh, For Fiorentina They won the Italian Cup and the uh, the Super Copa. Um, uh, Fiorentina is he had 269 appearances, 168 goals. I thought he played for more, more times than that. Yeah, no, he, um, yeah. That's, that's a great that's record. That's, no, a, great, that's, that's a great record. That's decent. That is. Yeah. Um, 98 World Cup. He had a good show. Five goals. Yeah. Um, they only got the quarterfinals. I say only because that Argentinian side again was just packed full of great players. Yeah. yeah. Consistently. It's always the way though, isn't it? I can yeah. think of. Um, well, apart from World Cup 90, when it was pretty much just Burrachaga and Maradona, they had yeah. a bit of pretty poor side. Like, the keeper got injured quite early as well. But apart from that, I can't think of any time when they've not had a wonderful team. Especially 98, they had a great team as well. 2002, when they got the first round. Yeah. 2006 was mental as well. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. 2006, when they left Messi on the bench and tried to like just sit back on a 1-0 lead against Germany. Just yeah, suicide. Yeah. That's, that's the uh, and the Italians have lost because they will not learn. That's two, <laughs> that's two, that's two, that's two. Yeah. Nothing to do with this. Point. No, but I'm just saying. It's it's that's what Italian. That's yeah. what Italy did. Yeah, yeah fair enough. That's, um, the, that's one of the best pieces of country ever. But anyway, carry on. Uh, well, anything Barry Davis yeah. He's um, had his profile. He can, he, he's safely in the Dean Win. That's all the fact. <laughs> that's safe. He is. Yeah. Yeah. He played for Fiorentina for a good few years, um, but I think 
he wasn't going to win the title with them. They came close to finish. Uh, they finished third one year, but he was after the Scudetto. Let's be honest. And so in um, the year 2000, 99 2000 season, he um, he was offered a chance to go to Roma for I think it was about twenty million pounds. Yeah. I thought that as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, time, what, what was that in US dollars? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> about 35 million. <laughs> was it, yeah. yeah. Uh, in euros, uh, <laughs> you know, 29. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Swiss francs, I'm not too sure about. <laughs> but, um, he, he was slightly restricted with a knee injury um, for some of that, but uh, he scored 20 goals in his first season for Roma and then won the league with Roma for the first time in the club season. He deserved it. That's brilliant. He deserved it. But this is quite good. In the, the next season, um, he changed his shirt number from 18 to 20 in reference to the number of goals he scored during the Scudetto <laughs> winning campaign. He, this Odd. became a little yeah. bit... This became oh, a bit, little bit... Yeah, a bit full of himself well, the, there, it, surely. Uh, again, the next... Um, is, is, could you, is it fair to say he, he started reading out some sort of Marcus Speller-type diva demands? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think if he beat I, that record, I, he'd like notch it up yeah. with every game? Yeah. Like he's drinking tap water. <laughs> um, in 2002, Council he changed, pop. Yeah, he changed the, back of the number of his shirt again to 33, which was his age. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's, you know. Just on a whim, isn't it? It could be anything. Weird. It's a bit weird. But his record for Roma, um, 63 appearances, 30 goals. Yeah. So, and again, it was it had a little bit of injuries there. But um, the, again, uh, the following season after that... Um, when he was 33 he didn't he was a bit uh, out of form so he was loaned out to Inter 12 appearances 2 goals so you, it's, it always happens in Italy right yeah, you yeah. think it, that would never happen in England yeah it's, it's mental there seems to be no qualms of just going between all the big clubs yeah. didn't Baggio play for Inter AC Milan That's and right, Juventus yeah, yeah. what the fuck yeah but loan him out to one of your big rivals, yeah, like. That's brilliant. Yeah. Well, yeah, fair I'll enough. I'll tell you what, we'll give you one of our best players yeah. and we'll still beat you. It's like you, can't <laughs> imagine, you can't imagine sort of Man United saying to Arsenal, you know, like, Tevez isn't really getting a game. Do you fancy him for three months? <laughs> <laughs> he's just been there. Yeah, yeah well, they probably did do that, and then it turns out he's fucking Mikel Silvestre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, who yeah. simultaneously looks like a fish and a potato. <laughs> <laughs> how has he managed, how has he he managed to work that in the Thank same you. face? I've brilliant. been looking at that man's head and wondering what it is, and you've just. Thank you. That's brilliant. I'm glad I turned up. You're right, mate. You're so right. You're so right. right. Anyway, his last club uh, was Al uh, Arabi, um, which was in the Qatar League. Hmm. And uh, he had 22 appearances, scored 30 goals. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I'm really glad about that because often you get these these really good players who go to these small leagues and you say, "What was there? No, well, they must have scored a hatful there." Oh well, they played fifty games. Didn't turn up. Like Fifteen <laughs> goals or something. Yeah, 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 it's rubbish. He went there and he hammered them. Yeah. I got yeah. a feel, I I got a feeling he's got an unbelievable scoring record at international level. He's got a very good uh, yeah. record. It's, it's about fifty and sixty or something, isn't it? It's uh, seventy-eight appearances, fifty-six goals. Yeah, yeah. That yeah that's between that's ninety-one savage. and two thousand two. That's, that's, that's awesome. decent. That really is decent record. The, the best thing I think that he's achieved is to get a life-size bronze statue of him outside the uh, Fiorentina Stadium. And under the statue it reads, To Gabriel Batistuta, indomitable warrior, tenacious in his quest, and loyal of heart. Ah, oh, brilliant. Yeah. That's emotional. Fantastic. Emotional. Where Richly does he, deserved. Where does he go, James? He goes into the Dean Windass Hall of Fame. Absolutely. And he's yeah. going to stay there as well. Possibly the only man who could follow Gerd I wouldn't say that. Well, no, big, in terms of how much I like him as a player, you know, I'm pleased you picked that. Yeah. Because yeah. you could have picked someone I don't care about, and yeah. you didn't, so. Mm. Have yeah. we got an 11 yet? Not yet, I was thinking about this. Have you kept a record of it? It's all strikers, and Barry <laughs> Davis in <laughs> <and> goal. Barazi in goal. Barazi in the back. <laughs> Nine <laughs> strikers, and Barry Davis in goal. Did we do Maldini? And they scored again, because you <laughs> will not learn <laughs> to hear me say it. <laughs> And another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Perhaps we should, perhaps we should um, put Pat Bonner in so we could just go, oh, oh Pat Bonner. Pat Bonner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh 